We have some serious news that has been rocking the NY practice community. Didi Osama's sister recently went live to reveal what really happened on the day Nadi Osama tragically passed away. According to her, Nadi Osama had texted his mother before the incident, letting her know who he was with. Sadly, only a day later, his family received a heartbreaking call saying something had happened to Nadi Osama. In their desperate search for answers, they encountered the man who mentioned Nadi Osama. Shockingly, the man said he had no idea what had happened, although he was with Nadi Osama when he was unfortunately stabbed. Nadi Osama's sister shared an emotional example, likening the situation to when Ethan texted their mother about going to play soccer. The pain of betrayal is palpable, as she described how this person lied to their mother about the situation. I'm going to put this as an example. Before Ethan passed away, he had texted my mom and he was like, hey, I'm going to be playing basketball in uh -uh -uh park. I'm going to be, I'm with this person and this person. Right? We get the phone call. Something happens to Ethan. The first person my mom calls, because that's the person my mom, my brother said he was with, was that person he was with. But guess what that person did? Oh, I don't know. I'm not with him. I don't know nothing. That's why we don't fuck with him, because he's a lying ass little bitch with his smutty ass mother. And I'm still not over that shit. When I see his little ass mother, she gonna catch these hands. But yeah, that's why we don't fuck with him, because it's just like you. The conversation has exploded on social media, especially TikTok, where a video of Nadi Osama's sister discussing the situation has gone viral. One user commented that she was upset that the person wasn't with Nadi Osama. However, the TikTok creator clarified that the issue is about JJ lying. Looking at the comments, it's obvious why Nadi Osama's sister was angry. Lying about such dire circumstances has only deepened the wounds for the grieving family. Now, we want to hear from you. How do you feel about the whole situation? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for the latest updates and news from the NY drill scene. Stay safe.